I totally agree with Christopher about the, the problem in Europe largely being one of regulation. But I'm afraid I, I have my fear when he says the solution to that problem is to um, harmonize. Because when I look at the um, substantial harmonization that's taken place in Europe of copyright over the last 20 years, every step has been against a free market solution and in favor of regulation, which many of us would regard as regulation for the sake of it. Why do they do so well in the States with, with licensing? Because the producer owns everything. And up until uh, about um, the mid-90s, it was the same here in the UK. Um, the simple solution is the producer has all the rights, and then if you want to license Harry Potter 3, you go to Warner Brothers. It's one phone call. Now, with music, there's a huge problem because there's so much national repertory. I accept that. But the, if the European Parliament, your colleagues in the European Parliament, get their hands on copyright again, I fear it will go in the wrong direction. Look at the history. Droit de Suite introduced, hampering our art market here in the UK. Um, compulsory collective uh, management of cable retransmission. Um, performers' rights. Moral rights. You know, it, it, the UK tries to make it as soft as possible. And it's perhaps for that reason that Spotify, a Swedish company set up in London, Last FM, German founders, set up in London, because at least in London they try to keep European regulation to the minimum. Sometimes we have a tendency when we do European legislation that we, it becomes Christmas trees, that we take any, everything from everybody, everybody gets something, and then we call it harmonization. But that isn't necessarily harmonization. That is just trying to, to, to you know, wrap, wrap it up. Yeah, exactly, and, and, and therefore one has to, of course, question whether... I wouldn't say, though, that the current situation is an acceptable solution. I met Wodler, for example, just the other week, uh, who is a Spotify, but for, for movies, and they tell me, you know, explicitly, saying, okay, in Sweden we do Swedish movies and American movies. In, in, if, when we go to UK we do British movies and American movies. And, and then I say, it might be... I might not know the perfect solution yet, but I can see one thing, that is that we need to have some kind of harmonization to, to, to go further. Of course, I will, I will be willing, willing to listen to you on how that should be done, but to say that, okay, leave it alone hasn't worked up until now, at least not for Wodler, who's one of the people that actually, in their everyday effort, stops downloading uh, through actually offering legal services instead. Uh, but, but it's a, it is an even bigger challenge, as you rightly acknowledge, when it comes to music, uh, when I meet the uh, rights holders organization there, uh, and the fact that there are so many rights holders.